Welcome to lesson one under preparing drawing using computer aided design. For this lesson, we will discuss the AutoCAD working environment or the AutoCAD user interface. As previously discussed, AutoCAD is a commercial computer aided design or CAD product software made by Autodesk. It has many versions, including one that is called as the AutoCAD architecture. AutoCAD architecture has purpose-built features specifically designed for architectural drafting. In addition to design tools for initial architectural conceptualization, it offers tools to make building renovations faster and easier. Productivity tools include those that reflect the actual design of walls and other structures. AutoCAD is able to maintain precise dimensional spacing among components such as walls, beams, columns, and doors. AutoCAD architecture offers a library of pre-built components to help speed up and automate the design and construction process. To become efficient with AutoCAD, you should get to know as many methods of launching the program as possible. There are several ways of launching the program depending on the preferences and condition you may want to begin. The first option that you can try is through the Start menu. Just click on the Windows icon found on the lower left side of your taskbar and then look for the AutoCAD program installed on your computer. Another option is through the shortcut icon found on your desktop or on the Quick Launch Toolbar. Just double-click the icon to open the AutoCAD program. Or you can also launch the AutoCAD program through an existing drawing file saved on your computer. Drawing files made from AutoCAD usually have the .dwg file extension on its file name. Just double click the file name and you're good to go. The first element of the AutoCAD interface that I will discuss is the application menu bar. The big A, located in the far left corner at the top of the AutoCAD interface, is like the home button in MS Office application or the file menu in most programs. The application menu bar provides navigational access to all AutoCAD commands and features. Single clicking this button opens a drop down menu which contains some number of the same options in the quick access toolbar, such as new, open, save and save as, import and export, and print features. More importantly, it contains links to most recently opened drawings and sheet sets. Next to the application menu is a quick access toolbar or QAT. The quick access toolbar, by default, provides direct and easy access to common or defined sets of commands such as new, open, save, save us, undo, redo, and plot. Like most user interface elements, it can be customized to meet the user's desires. Located just beside the quick access toolbar is the title bar. The title bar shows the name of the current file you are working, as well as the version of AutoCAD that you are currently using. AutoCAD uses drawing 1.dwg as the default file name. When learning how to use AutoCAD, for sure you will need to find information about the program based on a keyword, question, or phrase. And you can do that in the Info Center. Info Center can be found and, or is located beside the title bar and it will allow you to type a certain word 
and will provide you a list of related resources with regards to your query. So let's say, for example, you wanted to know how to use the line command, just type in line command at the info center dialog box, then press enter. As you will see, the info center works as the same as the help command in most office applications, just like in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Found below the title bar is a menu bar. It is the horizontal strip across the top of an application's window. Each word on the strip has a context-sensitive drop-down menu containing features and actions that are available for the applications in use. Unlike in most common applications, the menu bar of an AutoCAD consists of the following. We have the Home, Insert, Annotate, Parametric, View, Manage, Output, Add-ins, A360, Express Tools, and Featured Apps. We will dwell on each tab or each menu bar tab as we go on with the discussion of AutoCAD. Another unique element in the AutoCAD user interface is the ribbon. The ribbon contains various AutoCAD commands arranged in panels and tabs. These tabs are quite powerful. They have panels of commands as well as options that relate to any task at hand. Each tool in the ribbons panel will offer a tooltip explaining through a descriptive text in an image how to use it. Just move your cursor onto any tool and leave it there for a moment and a simple tooltip will appear below the cursor. Holding the cursor a bit longer over the tool will even add more information, um, a, a tutorial image about how to use that selected tool. There are a lot of other important features in the ribbon which will be discussed and explained further in the succeeding lessons. Another feature of the AutoCAD interface are the file tabs, which are located just below the ribbon or the toolbar. File tabs gives access to all open documents. Each document that is open has a tab. Left-clicking on a tab makes it the current open document. Right-clicking on a tab gives access to more options including save, save as, new, open, and close. The tab that has a plus sign allows the user to open a new document. In AutoCAD, your main canvas or your main paper is called as the drawing area. Most of AutoCAD window is occupied by the drawing area as this is the place where all of your drawings will appear and where all the magic begins. Please take note that your drawing area is of infinite size, and when you move a cursor within this area, a crosshair will appear, and this is called as a drawing cursor, which are used to locate and or pick and select objects in your drawing. Anything that can be found inside the drawing panel are called as the in-editor elements. The user can control the visibility of these elements. In the upper left corner are the viewport controls that allow the user to alter the view and the visual styles. On the other hand, the L-shaped figure on the lower left corner of the drawing area is called as the UCS or the User Coordinate System icon. And as you think, it indicates the X and Y axis and the Cartesian Coordinate System. 
Below the drawing area, you will see the layout tabs. It gives access to different model spaces of each layout in any given document. Left click on a tab makes it the current open layout. Right clicking on a tab gives you access to more options that includes rename, new layout, move, and others. The tab that has a plus sign on it allows the user to create a new layout. Layout tabs by default are located at the bottom of the drawing panel below the command line in the area around the status bar. The command windows is where the interaction between the user and the AutoCAD takes place. The window displays the history of the commands that were used during the drawing session. It also contains a command line that allows you to type in an AutoCAD command directly during your drawing session. The command window is by default located at the bottom of the AutoCAD interface just above the status bar. It can be detached from its default location to become a floating window or be docked to the top of the interface. Another part of the AutoCAD user interface is the status bar. The status bar is located on the lower part of your drawing area beside the layout tabs. The status bar displays the cursor location, drawing tools, and tools that affect your drawing environment. The status bar provides quick access to some of the most commonly used drawing tools. You can toggle settings such as grid, snap, polar tracking, and object snap. You can also access additional settings for some of these tools by clicking their drop-down arrows. Please take note that, that, that not all tools are displayed by default in the status bar, and you can choose what tools to display from the customization menu, which is found at the rightmost button on the status bar. The tools displayed on the status bar might change depending on the current workspace and whether the model tab or LAL tab is currently displayed. You will find that the working interface of the lower versions of AutoCAD may look entirely different from the most recent ones. Versions starting from 2010 up to the latest version shares almost the same working environment. Nevertheless, the functions and purpose of each part are still the same. 